Okay, so the first thing you do is you look at the bottom of the division. You're worried about dividing by zero. So NPV, what is not allowed for X? So negative one is not allowed. Then you have to decide if this is going to create an asymptote or point of discontinuity, a whole. So would this factor cancel anything in the top, can you see? No. So it's just going to be a vertical asymptote, and I can already put that on there if I want, at negative 1. Your x cannot exist at negative 1. Okay, now we go into the question about the degrees. What do you know about the degrees of this? Higher somewhere, same. Higher on the top. So what happens when we are higher on the top? What happens to a number if you just get higher on the top of it? It just goes. So then there's, there's just nothing there. I don't have to worry about anything. Okay, now we need to plot some points. So what kind of x values would you just take? You have to find some. It doesn't matter, but I always pick a couple on this side of the asymptote and that side. So if this is negative 1, I'm going to pick 0 and 1. Okay, so 0 squared minus 4 over 0 plus 1 makes negative 4. So 0, negative 4. And then 1 plugged in. I'm almost tempted just to go maybe one more on this because it's not, um, because of the no restriction, I think I'm going to go one more here. Okay, so here's the shape. It's kind of curving. So along that asymptote kind of curves and then it will, so we have no restrictions, so it will keep going up. Again, if you're unsure, guess what you can do? You can just keep plotting points until you figure it out. Okay, so that was kind of on that side of the pattern. So on your test, on your exam, you are going to get graded for the patterns in each section. So that would be one pattern. So now what's the pattern on the other side? So I'm going to plug in a negative 2 and a negative 3. Okay, so negative 2 squared is 4, 4 minus 4 is 0, so that would just be 0 no matter what. And again, you're doing this without a calculator because on your exam you won't have a calculator on these types of questions. So 9 minus 4 is 5 over negative 2. And I think that I'm going to graph the pattern just kind of based on also the other side.
Okay, let's go to the last page, or the last one. We'll do one more today. Okay, first things first, you look at the bottom. What can't X be? Well, actually, I'm going to factor this before I do that then. So I should recognize there's a difference of squares there. So there's actually two non-permitted values. Three and negative three are not allowed. So now I go into the question, are they going to make asymptotes or holes? How do I know? So this would cancel, so that was the negative three. So that would be a hole, and this would be an asymptote. Okay, so there's my vertical asymptote. I'm also going to plot my hole, but I need to figure out where that exactly is. So negative 3 comma what? So where do I go to figure that out? Well, I'm going to go back to this equation. And so after that was cancelled, my equation would actually look like this. So if I plug a negative 3 into that, I get negative 1 6. Okay, so here's an open, open point. Okay, so we had a hole, we had a vertical asymptote. So the next thing is for you to think about the degree situation. So is it higher top bottom, is it the same? It's higher on the bottom, so what happens to numbers in math when the bottom of the fraction gets bigger? You get smaller, so that means if you get smaller, you get closer to zero. So that's a horizontal asymptote at zero. Okay, so those are the big ideas and then you plug in coordinates to get patterns. So I'm going to be doing a four and a five to get a pattern in this region. And I'm going to use my cancel the equation because it's simpler. You can obviously use this one if you want, but this would make it easier. So four comma one, five comma a half, and that's enough for me to see the pattern because I have those asymptotes to follow along. So asymptotes, you approach, do not touch them, do not cross them, do not curl away from them, just get closer and closer and closer to them. And in the other little section, I'm going to try a 2 and a 1. So I'm picking the x values on the other side of it.
So you can see um, two negative one and one negative a half. And then I also showed you the pattern as it went through that open hole. So I kept going. Because obviously this line, what's this part doing? It's getting closer and closer and closer to zero. Okay, so that's the summary right here at the bottom. Like, kind of what do I do? I ask myself about the bottom, the NPVs. Are they vertical asymptotes or holes if they've canceled? Then I look at the degrees. Higher on the top, nothing to worry about. Higher on the bottom, zero. If they're the same, you got to divide to some number. And then the last step, plug in some values to get patterns. Okay, so a few more equations um, working backwards. So we have to make an equation of a rational. So first of all, I need y equals, and then a rational, so we're gonna be some kind of fraction. You can do a y equals on this, or f of x equals, because there was no instructions, but you have to have an equation. Okay, ready, step one, I need to make a whole at four. So what do I need going on over here to make a whole? I need x minus 4 cancelling. Check. That's, that's done. I need a vertical asymptote at negative 1. So what do I need to see in my equation? x plus 1 on the bottom. And how do you make a horizontal asymptote at 2? What's the degree situation going to have to be? How would you get to 2? What would hap happen with the degrees? Would it be higher, same, or higher on the bottom? They would have to be the same. To get to any number, they would have to be the same because you either have nothing or zero or the same can get you to a number. So I need whatever this is to divide to be two. So right now, do you see the top has a, just an X? And right now my bottom would have an X squared, right? Do you see that? Technically this foils and then you have an X squared. So what do I need to do to the top? I need to do some kind of other multiplier with an X in it and also a two. So I could do two X creating a two X squared on the top. I have to make something be 2x squared divided by 1x squared, or you can throw in other numbers like 8 and 4. If you, you want to throw in more numbers, that's fine too. As long as I look at what you have as the leader and yours divides to 2. But they have to be the same. You can make an equation that has a vertical asymptote at 5 and negative 5. So that's done. I did that. And a horiz horizontal asymptote at 0. So what's the degree scenario if you're at 0? You need to have higher x stuff on the bottom, which right now we have an x squared on the bottom. So as long as we don't put x squared or more on the top, so you could do just a number, you could do an x, don't do anything x squared or don't do anything x cubed, right? Or more. Make an equation of a rational, so y equals a fraction, 
and I need to have a domain of negative infinity to 6 and then 6 to infinity. So what does this mean as a domain? You are not allowed to be on 6. So you have a restriction at 6. So you're going to have a vertical asymptote at 6. So I need to have a vertical asymptote at 6. So that's good. I just had to make something where 6 was a problem. And how do you make no horizontal asymptotes? What's the degree situation? You need to be higher on the top. So the bottom has an X, so I need something higher on the top. So would it be okay if I just did an X squared, something higher than an X? Okay, we're going to write the domain and range of this one. Okay, so let's start with domain x. Okay, so we're way out here. The first time I see x, we're way out here, so negative infinity. Okay, ready? I'm going to travel, 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 travel. Oh, okay, I hit an asymptote. So I'm going to take a break at the asymptote, so negative 1, okay, and then I'm going to do a connection, an OR. So we jump over negative 1 because there's an asymptote there. We jump over it, and then actually we start again right away. So I'm here, and then I get to another asymptote. So from negative 1 and then I get to another asymptote at, like I was here to here, and then I took a break, and then I'm here to here. So I'm negative infinity to negative one, and then I'm between them. I can be between them, and then I can be take a break and then I can go again after one and beyond. Does that make a sense? If you're traveling on a road, you're traveling, oh, I got to jump over that a little bit, but then I can start again. Oh, I got to jump over that. Okay, I'm going to show you the other way to write this. X can be any real number, comma, X except it cannot be negative 1 or 1. That's the same meaning. X can be anything except you can't be at negative 1 or 1. So you can choose how you want to write that to me. I don't care. Okay, range is a little bit different. So start your road trip here at the bottom. So what's the lowest I'm gonna go? So negative infinity. So I'm down here and I'm traveling, 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 and then I get to a height of zero and I actually stop right at that height. Okay, then I actually take a big break. There's no heights in this whole zone right here at all. Okay, so then where do I start again? One, two, is that three? Three, round bracket, because I'm not on the three. I'm almost touching the three, and then I can travel anywhere beyond that. Okay, so think about traveling and where you have to take little breaks. Square brackets means you can be on things. Round brackets mean you can't touch things. 